So hey everyone, today in this video, I'll be telling you how you can connect an external SSD to your Android phone. Currently, I'm using an Android phone, so I'll be testing on that only. So I am having an SSD, an external SSD, which is of Crucial and it is X6. It's a portable SSD and it's very slim and compact. So if you're using a type C to type C cable, then you will get a 10 gigabit per second of speed. And if you're uh, using a type A to type C converter, then you will get 5 gigabit per second. So if you don't have any uh, port of type C in your phone or in your computer or laptop, then you will have to use a connector of that port of X port to C port. OK, so now what I'm going to do is that I have connected the X6 of Crucial to my computer. I'll be going to the uh, to the going to the file explorer and then gonna go over here. If I click on properties by right clicking, I'm able to see that the capacity is of 931 GB and the file system is NTFS, which is the default one of Windows. If I right click and click on format, I'm able to see file systems option. So I'll be clicking over here and making it XFAT so that we can use it in our Android phone. I'm going to click on start and it is giving me a warning that it is going to erase all the data if I am formatting it. I'm going to click on OK and if you are also doing it, you should firstly take a backup of all the files if there are. So it's not automatically going to close the file explorer. If you now again try to go into this uh, disk, then it's going to show that the access is denied. Okay, so now give it some time. And now when this uh, process will get completed, what are we going to do is that we will be connecting it to our phone and it will be directly working. And without doing this, this kind of this uh, format will not get detected in our Android phone. So give it some time. And if your PC is a little bit slower, then you have to be patient. Okay, guys, now I'm going to click over here. And as you're able to see, now the folder is empty. What I'll be doing is I'll create a text document and name it. Um, okay, so open it and uh, we'll be typing in. Okay, so now if I save it, and I'll be also copying a few more pictures. Okay, guys, as you're able to see, now I'm having three files over here. What I'll be doing is I'm going to detach it. So you can also easily detach it. I'll be detaching it. And now what I'll be doing is I'll be connecting it to my Android phone. And now I have connected it. I'll now show you my screen. So. I'll be going to my files and I'll be going to my files, which you can find out by searching. Okay, so now I'm in my files and I'll be clicking on USB storage. And as you're able to see, there are three items. So if I click and open it, I'm able to see the photos. Even I'm able to read the text document. Now for copying it or moving it, you can just simply select it and hold it for a little bit of time and then you can copy it like this and you can copy it anywhere. Like you can select the categories like on images like or downloads or videos or anything. So this like this you can copy it and paste it anywhere. So this is how you can use to use this kind of these kind of external SSDs with your Android phones also. So this was all guys. I was using a crucial uh, SSD which was X6. So this was Little Guru signing off and I'll meet you in my next video. So stay tuned till that next video.